Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to send emails to your newly created Facebook leads. So imagine this a lead called as John has been created from your Facebook forms. So you want to thank John via email. So here you have two choices. The first choice is you have to copy all the details of John from Facebook forms, compose our email and send it via Gmail. Or you can just bring in some automation. So in this video, we will be using Public Connect to integrate Facebook and Gmail. So what Public Connect will do is, anytime a new lead is added in Facebook, it will automatically send an email via Gmail. Now this little integration can be done in very few steps. And the best part of using Public Connect is, there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser. pabli.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Here hover on products and here you will find the option called as connect. Click on connect and then just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also create your own free account in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing that Public Connect offers a plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So you just have to clone the template of its workflow which is available in the description box. Once you clone the template, you will get immediate access to this amazing workflow in your account. Okay, so scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button. Create workflow. Click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I am going to give it as Facebook to Gmail. Facebook to Gmail. And then just click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Facebook because we want to send the data from Facebook. So here you have two choices, one for Facebook comments, another for Facebook lead ads. We are going with Facebook lead ads. Now in the trigger event, again, here you have two choices, lead, new lead legacy and new lead. So we are going with new lead. Okay, so new lead is a trigger event. So your obvious question is, what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new lead is created, then what action should be taken by the system? Actually, there is one more trigger that is new lead legacy. Now, in case if you want more triggers of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate for the specific trigger that you want to build. But at present, I just want to send the data when a new lead is made in Facebook forms. Okay, so just click on connect with Facebook lead ads. In the new credentials, just again click on connect with Facebook lead ads. Okay, so excellent. So it is showing the authorization is successful. Just press OK. So when you press OK, you will find two blanks that is page and lead generation form. Now to explain you better, let me take you to Facebook. So as you can see, these are the pages I have in my Facebook. So these are all the pages. So all the pages that is present here will be found in the drop down. So these are all the pages that is present in my Facebook account. Okay, for example, we have a page called as my page. There is a page called as my page. Similarly, we have a page called as rapid tech review. Do we have a page called as rapid tech? Yes, we do have a page called as rapid tech review. Now, what if I create a new page? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on create a new page. So the name of uh, the page is uh, alchemy, alchemy tech review. Okay, so, so this is the page name alchemy tech review. Now in the category, how about we go with the uh, science, technology and engineering. Okay. And in the create page, we are just going to click on create page. Okay. So your obvious question is what's the point behind explaining all of this? Well, I just want to show you any variation that is bought here will be reflected in public connect. So a page is going to be created. Okay. So a new page called as alchemy tech review has been created. So when I go back to public connect and when I refresh this, I can expect to find alchemy tech review in this box. Okay. So let me just refresh this. And let's uh, check in the drop down. Do we have a page called as Alchemy Tech Review? 
So yes, we do have a page called as Alchemy Tech Review. So as I mentioned before, any variation that is bought here will be reflected in Public Connect. This is because Facebook is now integrated with Public Connect. Now in the lead generation form, it is showing it as blank. This is because Alchemy Tech Review is a recently created page. We just created it now. So we don't have any lead generation form for this particular page. We haven't created yet. So I have created a page for uh, this particular problem, for this particular uh, issue that is uh, new tech, any tech solution. So basically I have created a form for this particular page, any tech solution. So let's explore that. So this is the form lead capture form. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, my pages, okay, and I'm going to select the page called as any tech solution. So this is the page any tech solution. Okay, so this is the page here. Okay, so now we are going to go to this part called as publishing tools. Now in the publishing tools, we have to go to this part, lead at forms. Okay, so as you can see, I'm using a Facebook business suit. Now this will also work with your average Facebook profile. Okay, so I'm selecting my business suit. And as you can see, there is this lead capturing form and it has been titled lead capture form. Okay, so this is the same form that is showing here. So my point is very simple. When we click on save and send test request, it will show the data of the recently created lead. Okay, I repeat again, when I click on save and send test request, it will fetch the data of the recently created lead in this form. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to uh, select this uh, lead. Okay, and I'm just going to click on test form. Okay, so here I'm going to enter some details. So these are the details. So this is the name of the respondent. The first name is Michael. The last name is Karas. And this is his uh, email address. And this is his phone number. 9131323917. Okay, so this is his phone number. So let me just click on next and submit. Okay, so the form has been submitted by Michael Karas. So when I go to Public Connect and when I just click on save and send re test request, it will show the data of this particular lead called as Michael Karas. So let me just do that. Let me just click on save and send test request. Okay, so as you can see, this is the detail of Michael Karas. So the first name is Michael, the last name is Karas. This is the email michaelkaras481 at the rate gmail.com and this is the phone number. Excellent. Okay, so now what we plan to do is we plan to send a thank you email via Gmail to Michael Karas. Now it can be done easily. Let me just introduce you to another action window, another window. So this window is uh, called as the action window. Now in the choose app, how about we make it as Gmail? because we want to send an email via Gmail, that is why. Now in the action event, how about we make it as a send an email. Now send an email is an action event. There are many more action events like add label to email, send email with plain text and so on. So just like the triggers, if you don't find the action events according to your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the readpably.com to custom build an action event for you. But at present, I just want to send an email. Okay, so just click on connect with Gmail. In the new credentials, just again click on connect with Gmail. So as you can see, these are the series of uh, Gmail accounts I have. Now I want to send the email from this particular account. So I'm selecting this one. Okay, so now Public Connect is asking me to confirm my choice. Now before you click on allow, let me tell you something. Public Connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is 100% safe and secure with us. Okay, so on the basis of the trust, just press allow. Okay, so excellent. It is showing the authorization is successful. Just press OK. So when you click on OK, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. The purpose of uh, these blanks is very simple. We are going to construct a message from the data that we have received from Facebook and send it via Gmail. Now in the recipient name, let me introduce you to this button. This button is called as the mapping button. When we click this, we will find all the data that we have received from Facebook. So this is the name Michael. So we have mapped it. Easy. Now coming to the recipient email, we are just again going to map in the email. So this is the email. We have mapped it. Now from name, my name is uh, Aaron. So I have uh, typed in my name and this is the email from which I want to send the email. 1991 at the rate gmail.com. Okay. Now coming to the email subject, I'm just uh, typing it as simple thank you. Or uh, how about, uh, yeah, how about we go with uh, thank you. So this is the email subject. And uh, uh, in the email message, we will type something like hello. And then we will just type map in the full name that is uh, Michael. Okay, Michael. Enter a space. Hello, Michael Karas. And uh, thank you for filling out our form. 
our form. Okay, that would be enough. Okay, very simple message. Hello, Michael Carras. Thank you for filling out of out our form. Uh, filling out our form. Okay, so this is the email subject. Thank you. This is from the email. That is my email address. And this is my name. And this is the recipient email. And this is the recipient name. So when I click on save and send test request, it will send the email. So let me just do that. Let me just click on save and send test request. Okay, so the API response is showing the data has been sent. So let's have a look into uh, this person's uh, Gmail. So we are going to look into the email address of uh, Michael Karras. So this is Michael Karras account. Okay, so yeah, we do have uh, the message. Thank you. Hello, Michael Karras. Thank you for filling out the filling out our form. Excellent. So the presence of uh, this mail shows that we have successfully integrated Facebook and Gmail with help of Public Connect. So how about we double check if our integration is working fine or not. But before we do that, let me take you to public connect and let me explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So I'm just going to minimize my action window and I'm going to minimize my trigger window. So basically this is the whole process in a nutshell. First you integrated Facebook to public connect and then you have integrated public connect to Gmail. So now there is a perfect flow of data between Facebook and Gmail. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, to the form and I'm just going to enter some more details. So this time the respondent is a person called as Liji and the last name is uh, Manuel. Okay, so Liji Manuel it is and this is the email. This is the email. It is seven at the rate gmail.com and this is the phone number. 9131323. Okay, so this is the phone number. So let me just click on next and let me just click on submit. Okay, so the form submission has been made by Liji Manuel. So let's have a look into the email email of uh, Liji Manuel. Did she get any email from me? So we are going to Liji Manuel's uh, email address. So this is her email address. Okay, so let's have a look. Yes, there is a message. Thank you. Hello, Liji Manuel. Thank you for filling out our form. Excellent. So our integration is working absolutely fine. This means anytime a new lead is filled in Facebook, it will be reflected as a, as a mail in via Gmail. Not just these two apps, you can integrate up plenty of applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com. Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.